In this video, I am going to talk to you about what is known as an annuity due. Uh, annuity due is different from an ordinary annuity, uh, which is basically the type of annuity that we've talked about the most uh, in this series of lectures. Let me explain to you what annuity due means. So let's take this example of our rich and benevolent uncle who promises to give you $500 every year for seven years. So we know it's an annuity because you're going to get the same cash flow, 500, you're going to get it at regular intervals of years, one year, and you're going to get it for seven years. Uh, however, your uncle says that, look, I'm going to give you the first $500 starting today, starting today. This is the key difference. Uh, when we have looked at annuities before, the assumption that we made was that these were ordinary annuities and we have talked about this what makes an annuity an ordinary annuity is that the first first cash flow is occurring one year from today so if yours if this is your seven year timeline in an ordinary annuity and I'm going to denote that by the blue color in an ordinary annuity the first 500 would occur here the second one would occur here. Let me write these down. So 500, the third one would happen here. Fourth, fifth, uh, sixth, and then seventh, right? So O represents an ordinary annuity. This is an example of an ordinary annuity. And we know that uh, if somebody asked you, like, what is this worth to you today, the present value, the formula that we have seen before, which is C, the, which in our case is 500, you simply do this, 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R raised to the power T divided by R. So we've seen all of this before. This is the formula that we, you would use for an ordinary annuity. But this is not an ordinary annuity. This is an annuity due. Why? Because in this case, our, your uncle is saying, look, I'm going to give you the first 500 starting today, which means that the first 500 happens here, today. The second one happens here. The third one happens here. The fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. And so yellow is representing uh, an annuity due. Please, please, please understand this. It is both of these are seven year annuities. Let me say that again. Whether you're looking at this cash flow stream or the one above it in yellow, these are both seven year annuities because you're still getting seven 500s. It's just that their timings are different. One way of thinking about it is that an ordinary annuity is going to yield cash flows at the end of each year. So this marks the end of the first year, the end of the second, the end of the third. Uh, annuity due is when you're getting stuff at the beginning. So today is the beginning of year one. This is the end of year one and beginning of year two. So really, uh, in an annuity due, you're getting the first cash flow at the beginning of year one, beginning of year two, beginning of year three, beginning of year four, beginning of year five, beginning of year six, beginning of year seven. End of one year is the beginning of the next, basically. Okay, so then uh, if the question now is how do you determine the present value of this cash flow stream, you might say, well, I clearly can't implement this formula, right, because uh, this only applies to an ordinary annuity. What do I do here? Well, one way of thinking about it, and uh, which is which is sort of um, slightly formulaic, is you say, look, what if this 500 weren't here? If this 500 weren't here, then this, yeah, these other 500s, I have six of these, and this looks very much like an ordinary annuity that's lasting for six years. So here's what I could do. Uh, I could do present value, uh, over here would be first let me take the discounted value of this five hundred uh, dollars which is a six-year annuity right it's lasting for six years and it's an ordinary one because the first 500 is at the end of the first year so this would solve out to 500 
and then you do 1 minus 1 over 1 1.04 raised to the power 6 because we're going only 6 years out and then you would divide all of that by 0 0.04 which is the interest rate this would give you the worth of all of these 500s today but on top of that you're getting today another 500 so really you do all of this so I would put all of this in one big number and then I say oh on top of that I'm getting another 500 right I mean this is one way of thinking about it uh, it turns out that all of this solves out to something like this basically it solves out to 500 into 1 minus 1 over 0 0.0 1.04 uh, 1 uh, raised to the power 7 7 year annuity all of that divided by 0 0.04 multiplied by 1.04 or put differently basically take the same expression that we had before for an ordinary annuity so all of this this is that stuff like this is the expression for an ordinary annuity that would exist for seven years just take that and multiply it by 1 plus r so 1.04 just do that and so in the past we have seen that this guy uh, solves out to 3,001.02 and I'm saying just multiply that by another 1.04 which when you'll do the math will give you about 3,121.06 dollars. So shouldn't be surprised that uh, this annuity is a little bit more valuable to you than an annuity in which everything was delayed by one year. So if you were going to get your first 500 starting one year from today and then get the remainder, that was worth only 3001 But if you're getting everything one year earlier, then because you know cash flow is coming to you sooner, that cash flow stream is worth more to you today. So the present value of an annuity due of 500 that you're going to get for seven years is going to be 3,121.06. In general, uh, in general, this is the principle. The present value of an annuity due, the present value of an annuity due is just take the present value of an ordinary annuity and then multiply it by 1 plus r, which is exactly what we just did.